Hello YouTubians. This video is about coils, more specifically electromagnets, mainly where to get the parts free or cheap and how to wind. Okay, so parts. Spool, magnet wire, it is a wire with a very thin insulation, generally enamel, and an iron core. Okay, that's it. Where do you get them? Well, a good place to find spools is a shop that does ribbon wrapping. Might be a flower or a party shop. You see, after they finish the ribbon on the spool, they throw it out, and generally you can find a nice enough person to save them for you. And for smaller spools, you just uh, buy the ribbon. This one was only $2. The flower shops will have the biggie ones. Now, if you want to be a real MacGyver of coils, you also want to incorporate this little thing. This is just a PVC pipe. You go into a plumbing distributor. They'll have heaps of different connections. You can find one that will fit your spool. And basically, it'll make your magnet stronger because this material is a diamagnetic material. It just helps concentrate the magnetic flux in your iron core. Okay, next. Iron core. This thing. Believe it or not, this used to look like that. Those, um, those hangers proved to be phenomenal as an iron core. Next. Magnet wire. A broken microwave oven is a great source for magnet wire. Broken ovens can be found on a curb clearance day when everybody um, in your neighborhood is getting rid of all the big stuff. Or you can call an oven repair shop and generally they'll have a number of broken ovens to get rid of. Take the transformer out. It'll look a little like that. This is a transformer before circumcision. This is one after. Now chisel the wire out so it looks a little like that. Just be careful not to damage the insulation. Okay, so now we have all of our parts. How do we put them all together? You'll need a cordless drill. This is a tapered sofa leg and you'll need lots and lots of time. This little sticky type is to count turns. It's important to know how how many turns you've got on your spool because the formula to calculate how strong your magnet is, it is amperage multiplied by number of turns. Now the aim is to wind it as close, as tight to to itself as possible. You really want to get them close. The closer they get, the more efficient it'll be. So every turn I generally just press them together like so. So we finish winding, we just chuck in a bit of a um, electric tape on it just to hold the wire in place, stuff, stuff the middle with these rods, you can use either the hangers that I've showed you or you can use uh, welding rods, they're quite good as well. You just file it down to make it nice and uniform, chuck that inside, I've counted 530 turns. Now let's see. That's the magnet. How strong it is? Very strong. 
Let's see how many ampers we've got here. That's about 6.6 .6 ampers. Another thing I wanted to show you is by filler winding. I had tremendous trouble to find out what the hell that is. And um, here it is, by filler winding. We've got a coil. We've got two wires, not one, two. It's quite simple, same process, just to use two wires together. You just wind them tightly around each other. So eventually you'll have two coming out, two going in. Uh, one of them is for the primary poles, the other one is to remove the back EMF. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you next time. I'm finally getting to my favorite subject which is hydrogen. Stay tuned. Bye.